Hi guys, I really wanted to film a haul for you because I went shopping today and I bought things from MAC and things from Primark. Um, I'll start off with the MAC because that's why I got the least and then I'll go on to Primark because I bought quite a bit. Um, I just stopped by MAC to see their new collection. I think it's called a Hoy Sailor or Hay Sailor or something. I didn't even look. But to be honest with you, there was nothing there that I thought was really nice. I mean, in my opinion. Nothing that I didn't already have something like. But my Mac has only just got in the collection of Real Sexy. Which is really weird, because I'm pretty sure it's been out for ages. At least it has in America. By the way, I'm not bold. I've just got my hair in like a big messy bum. Um, yeah, so, I mean, the girl tried on the bl one of the blushes, which I've got on here. And I quite like it. But to be honest with you, it's not that nice for me to go and spend all that money on. Because I've recently um, just purchased an e.l.f. order. Shh. Um, and I'm waiting for that to arrive. And I've ordered some blush in that. So, um... Yeah, we'll see. Um, so the only two things I picked up were from the Real Sexy collection. And I finally picked up Lightscapade. You do not know how long I've been looking at this product and deciding not to get it. And then deciding to get it and deciding not to get it. And my argument for it, I'll just show you in case you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure everybody in the whole world does. It's a mineralized skin finish. It looks like this. It looks like all pastel colours. And the reason why I didn't want to buy it for the longest time was because, to me, I didn't understand why it had all this hype about it. Because it's not really that pigmented for a highlighter. Because I like quite strong highlighters. I haven't got one on today, but I like things like MAC Soft and Gentle. That kind of highlight. Um, I really like Guerlain's highlight, which I bought. Um, I really like that to be quite a strong highlight on my cheekbones. So that when I move, you can really see sort of the shine. And this didn't have that much shine, or at least when I swatch it. And I was like, what do actual people use it for? And I wasn't quite sure. But then I've seen a few videos lately where people put it um, in their sort of, in the triangle under their eyes. And then a bit on the top of, just like the high points of your face and under here. And I was like, oh, I don't know, it's quite expensive. Um, but it keeps coming out and everybody keeps going mental for it and it gets sold out. So I thought, you know, what, I'm just going to get it. And I'm what I'm planning to do with it, I think... I'll try it tomorrow, um, is to dust it lightly all over my face once I've done my powder and then maybe just put it on a bit heavily, heavily, heavier on top of my cheekbones and see how I get on. But, I mean, everybody talks about this, so everybody can't be wrong. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try that. I'll just do a quick swatch in case you don't know what it looks like. It just looks like that. So it's not... It kind of... I don't know if you can see, it's not as reflective as most other highlighters, but we'll see. So, and then the only other thing I got I'm really excited about, I didn't plan to get this or anything. In fact, these colours normally are just really not my type. Like, if I would see this, I'd be like, no way. Like, when I was thinking of having a look at these um, duo eyeshadows um, from the Real Sexy collection, the one that caught my eye was one that I saw Tiffany D here on YouTube use and it had like a corally colour and then like a purple and I was like oh that's really nice, that's my kind of colours. When I swatched the coral it was lovely, it was kind of like a more coral version of expensive pink from MAC and then the purple wasn't really that pigmented so it was a bit chalky and it wasn't anything great so I just passed on that and I was just looking at the other ones and if you've been watching my videos you know that recently I've been obsessed with teal eyeshadow so I saw this one and it's really not normally the kind of eyeshadow that I go for it's Dynamic Duo 3 and it's got a teal and then this kind of bluey taupey colour and normally I would totally pass but I swatched them and I absolutely fell in love. Both of them are really good quality creamy colours and I think they'll look fab together. So I'm going to do a tutorial for that for you guys tomorrow which is really exciting because I can't wait to use them. But yeah the teal is amazing. It's like immense. Look at that. And this other colour is really really pigmented. In fact it's like quite crumbly as you can see. Try and get rid of the crumbles for you. They're really, really stunning colours. They look like that. And I'm really excited to try them out, even though they're not normal, my, normally the kind of colours I go for. But I'm going to do a tutorial with it tomorrow and play around with it. But And then I thought for work I could just put it under my lower lash line because I think I'd be a bit too much if I wore it all over for work, seeing as I am a nurse. But um, yeah, so that's all I got from MAC. Um, I am tempted to go back and pick up the blush that she tried on for me, but I'm not really sure at the moment, so um, it wasn't, like I said, special enough for me to be crazy about it. So now we're to Primark, because we're going to be here all day. The I have got a couple of things I got the other day, and then most of this I bought today, so um, I just got some uh, flip-flops and plain ones there, just pink 
and they're glittery and that was £1.50. I bought these which you would have saw on Outfit of the Day or whatever, I'm sure I showed you them, or in my favourites it might have been. Um, I can't find the other ones, sorry, but these are just from Primark, I think these are about £2 as well. Then I bought these wedgies which I love. They're black and they've got um, detail in here, like a bow detail and they're suede and they've got like cork heels and I absolutely love these. These were £12 and I can't wait to wear them. I haven't worn them yet even though I bought these the other day. They're just so cute. I got those and then I bought this scarf which I thought is really nice. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the detail in but it's got like skulls. Can you see? And it's like one of those massive scarves. I'll try and get it off for you. Like really oversized. It was four pound in case anyone's wondering. But it's like really big. And so I thought with the white vest top, this would look really nice. Like kind of messily around. I think that would look really nice with a white vest top and maybe like dark denim jeans or something. So I really like that. And that was only four pounds. And then next I bought a pair of coloured skinny jeans. I've got a few different pairs of colours, but I really like the pink or the raspberry pink. And I saw these um, in Primark and they've just got a silver belt and then the back just looks like like that. And they are just like the long skinny ones. I just really liked them and they fit really nice. And these were £11, so a complete bargain. And then to go with that, I picked up these shoes, which were only £4. I thought they'd look really cute with it they've just got pink sort of flowers on and I just really like them they're only four pounds and I love these kind of shoes to just chuck on I bought another pair like that of shoes sorry I know I'm going through this quite quick but I don't want to bore everyone so um but these were four pounds as well and they're just blue ones and they're just ballerina pumps um this dress I bought last week so I have worn it which is why it looks really creased because it's been washed and not dried properly and I don't know how I'm going to show you this but it's a um, a maxi dress with this detail around the collar and it just goes straight down and then it has a slit I don't know how I'm going to show you I don't know if you can see like on the leg so it kind of shows a little bit of leg and it's really nice on but um my mum's going to try and stitch the leg up a little bit because it's a little bit high for me I prefer it to be a bit lower so I can wear it more casually so yeah, there's that. And then I bought another pair of shoes. I'm obsessed with shoes at the moment. I think it's because I'm so used to wearing Uggs and I want to start venturing out in sandals. And I think these are so cute. They've got these diamond detail in here and they're gold and they're just really cute. And these were £12. And sorry, I didn't tell you how much the dress was, but I don't actually remember. I think it was between 12 and 15 so it wasn't expensive. I bought another pair of skinny jeans because I've been loving their skinny jeans, the super soft ones. These are just dark navy and they've got like the same pocket detail in. And these were £11 as well. And then, let's have a look what else I've got in here. Just a pair of normal black leggings. These were only £3. They're not the best quality, they're the kind of ones that show if they stretch a bit. But I don't mind, um, I quite like to wear these a lot in the summer so it's good to have lots of pairs. I bought a pair of pyjamas, which are super cute, but for some reason they're inside out, so I'm going to just put it in the right way. I didn't try them on or anything, so I don't know why they're inside out. But the top looks like this, and this was £8 for the set. Um, what did it say? I need cake. Yeah, I always need cake. And then the bottoms look like these. They're just stretchy at the top. And then um, they've got like a pocket on the back. And they just kind of go right to the end, to the floor, not to the end. What am I talking about? <laughs> I bought a plain white vest. I tend to buy a white and a black one every time I go because I just use them all the time. Um, and it just looks like that. And I think, yeah, that was £2. Um, I bought two packs of socks. <laughs> because for some reason, socks go missing in this house. And they were, these ones were 2 50 because they're a bit more patterned. And these ones were £2 because they're just black. And I bought a load of pairs of pants, but I mean, I need to show you all of that, but I just bought like, you know, pants, just the French knicker style, because I love um, Primark pants, they're so cheap. I bought a pair of earrings to wear, um, I wanted, I know these are really big, but these are the only ones they had, but I'm thinking if I've got my hair down and curly, they won't look quite so big, but they're just gold hoops, because 
I just wanted a pair for ages. I don't know where mine have gone. I like, I just love my pair, but they went missing. Um, I bought these bangles because they're like a rose gold colour. I don't know how well it's going to show up. They're like a rosy gold and these were only a pound. And I was like, oh, I like these. And then I bought a new belly bar because I do really like Primark ones. It's just a gold flower. But the thing is, they go rusty because they're not real. So I just keep buying new ones. They're only £2.50. And the last thing I got was a bra, which is a bit boring. It's just a bright blue one. And I don't know how much this is because it hasn't got a label on, but I think it was about £5. So that is everything that I got from Primark. That is loads and loads of stuff. <laughs> I knew I went a bit crazy, but I did need quite a few things. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I will hopefully film an Elf haul sometime soon um, to show you what I got from Elf. Alright, thank you. See you later. Bye. Mwah.